going on, VC? Crazy Jimmy here. Got another Acid Archive video for you from the second edition book here. And today's submission is going to be none other than Poor Richard, Place of the Sun. And there's the front cover. Let me give you a better view of that. It's kind of like, a, it's got like a lamination to it. It's shiny, that's for sure. Uh, and here's the back. Uh, definitely a private press, like one of those um, uh, not uh, not outsider. Uh, I wouldn't call it outsider like music, but I guess you could. Outsider loner folk, uh, acid folk, something along that line. Pretty cool little sunset there. And it's got, uh, let's see, on side one, it's got... One, two, three, four, five tracks, side two, three tracks. Um, one track on side two is like a sweet um, or a long track called series, but it goes through like uh, different uh, uh, points or different melodic changes uh, for that song. So really, really cool stuff there. Um, definitely not folk on that song. So there's a little bit of everything on here. Um, some folk, some acid folk, some uh, rock and some rock uh, alternative. I would call it maybe more alternative than anything. Uh, and when did this come out? Let me grab. Well, I'm going to get to the book here in a second. Let me just show you the label. It's on the Kazoo label, which is uh, pretty neat, right there. Basic yellow label, but it's got Kazoo Records. And here's the other side. Poor Richard, Place of the Sun. So let me go ahead and uh, read to you the submission. It's actually a pretty good review. And they even have a picture of the album cover in here. Right there. On page 262. Poor Richard, Place of the Sun. 1978 on Kazoo Records. This unique and cool acid folk item is something you know is something you know is special as soon as you see the beautiful album cover. All of the songs are centered around heavy acoustic guitar, but some really rock out some really rock out. Three songs have drums and are all fab while others set a stark, mellow, late night or outdoors mood. Side one is solid from start to finish. Side two is more complex, starting with a song appropriately named Funky Honky, <laughs> and then going into the 12 minute plus suite, which has lots of lovely acoustic 12 string and some neat moments. That was called series. Uh, but doesn't sustain interest like the short songs on side one. Kind of disagree with that. Richard's vocals are strong and serious, well suited to this music. You'll be surprised by the groove a few songs find when the rhythm when the rhythm section enters halfway through the others the uh, the otherwise sleepy acts of goodbye. That's the song title. The effect is startling and magical. I wish the long song called Series had a bit more strength, but this album is very good. Reviewed by AM, whoever AM is. I'm not terribly sure, but um, really killer review in here. Solid review. Sounds like uh, Mr. AM loved it. Um, I also love it. Uh, I found it to have quite a bit of replay value, and that's typically how I'll judge an album is, do I want to come back to it? Am I thinking about it after I play it the first time? Did it not necessarily connect, but there were some pieces or moments that did, and I want to come back to it. Uh, and when you do come back to it, do you hear, you know, different things you didn't hear the first few times around? So that's how I kind of judge the, you know, records, and this certainly has it. Uh, you know, I've already heard it a few times, and I'm actually itching to hear it again today. So I'll probably pop it on again, but. You got a pretty good assortment of instruments on here. Um, a Crane plays tambourine, Nola Douglas cello, Charlie Wicks Moog or Moog, 
Angie, uh, Angie Nichols, I believe Angie Nichols is either Richard's wife or maybe sister, uh, does some vocal harmonies. Scott Bradley, drums, Jim Reif, the Fife, Stephen Cora, lead and rhythm guitar, vocal harmonies, Glenn Lewis, guitar and vocal harmonies, Bryce, Uncle Dirty Robertson, please don't, I, I, I don't know what Uncle Dirty stands for. I don't even want to think about it. Plays bass in rhythm guitar and Mellotron. And then, of course, poor Richard. Richard Smirnois, I think you pronounce his name. Does uh, vocals, vocal harmony, and guitar. So there you go. There you have it. Poor Richard, Place of the Sun. Check it out on YouTube. Check it out online. These can be had for reasonable prices right now. Uh, so, you know, now's the time to kind of pounce on this. Uh, pick one up for yourself uh, for less than 100 bucks. But anyways, thanks for watching. As always, uh, more content to follow real soon. Please, if you like what you're uh, seeing here, please hit subscribe. Please like, please comment. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching. As always, Crazy Jimmy out.